Hi, I'm Laura Pickens with St. Bernard's Marketing and welcome everyone to the Flo and Phil Johns Hospice House. I'm here with Tammy Hawkins, the Director of Hospice for St. Bernard's and this is my first time in the Flo and Phil Johns Hospice House and she's going to show me around, give me a tour and um, let's start off Tammy by just telling me a little bit about what is hospice. Hospice is a specialized kind of home care. Our goal is to go into patients' homes, take care of them, teach the family how to take care of the patient, and our ultimate goal is, of course, to help them live, not die, Laura, help them to live as fully as they can, but then have a comfortable death and maintain their dignity and quality of life through that entire process. That's but, wonderful because we all want to, to live the fullest exactly, life we can exactly, and to die with dignity. Exactly. But now we have an extension of our home care hospice, and I'm so proud to show you and take you through this facility, the Flo and Phil Jones Hospice House. I'm excited. I can't oh, wait to good. see it. Well, now tell me a little bit about how it was funded, who paid for this, I mean wh what made this happen? How did we get this here in Jonesboro? Well it all started by a letter to the editor where another individual had a family member in a hospice house in Mississippi. Mr. Owens read that letter to the editor and that initiated this whole process. But this is a gift from the community. St. Bernard's did not fund this. We reached out to the community. They raised the money. We got some grants. And this is a debt-free facility. Wow. So it, wow, it's it, exciting. We, it is very exciting to know that the community saw a need and they stood behind us in our endeavor to make this become a reality. This is a great addition to downtown Jonesboro. It is. Right here on it Matthews. Is. It's yes. very exciting. Very exciting. Okay, well let's start our tour. Well let me show you first. I'm so excited about this. This is the in our entrance way and this is an etching of Flo and Phil Jones and of course this is who our facility is named after and this is very special to me because Flo was instrumental in starting hospice in Northeast Arkansas. It started out as a volunteer organization, and then in about 1989 she went to Mr. Owens and of course that's when St. Bernard's took it over. But in honor of that, we have named our facility after Flo and Phil Jones. So that's I think great. it's just fitting that when you walk in you see this etching of them. It's beautiful etching. How about I take you to the Welcome Center okay, next? Okay, that sounds great. When you come in the hospice house, the first thing you're going to see is a Welcome Center. Uh, we will hopefully, this will be manned 12 hours a day, seven days a week for, uh, by volunteers for our hospice. They will actually just answer the phone, do some general secretarial type stuff, but you may not be aware of it, but Medicare mandates that we have volunteers and that's part of the requirement to get Medicare funding, so we'll utilize them here. But of course, if they want to do more, all they got to let us know is that they're interested in serving patients too, and we can accommodate that. Well, um, how, if somebody in the community, community wants to become a volunteer, how do they do that? Well, depending on how much involvement they want to be, if they want to be hands-on patient care, they call the hospice office or this facility, and, and I can give you the phone number if you want. I already know what it is. It's 336-4200. 336-4200. Okay. So they can call here, or if they just want to be a greeter, Marilyn Hummelstein and St. Bernard's Foundation is helping coordinate that effort so they could call the foundation and speak with them. And they could probably go online to the foundation website they can as well. Foundation.org. That is correct okay. because they have those uh, application forms online. Okay, that's great. So next, what I'm most excited about is our family room. Would you like to see it? Yes, that's a favorite way. part. 